Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. A real quick video to show you the updated version of Notepad in Windows 11. This has just been released for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. So I've got my machine here on the Dev Channel and I've updated Notepad. Now the first thing you'll notice is it supports dark mode. So I'm in running in dark mode on here now and dark mode uh, and I've got uh, the window in dark mode. So Notepad is at last in dark mode, which is really good. Um, now, not a lot of people rely on Notepad, so Microsoft will be very careful when they're doing updates to uh, to Notepad. But the basics of it, the copying and pasting that a lot of people use it for, I use it for getting plain text and things like that, that all still works. But let's just have a quick look at what they've actually changed in it. So first of all, you'll notice if we've got the rounded corners, uh, we've got settings here, so we can choose, do we want it in light mode or dark mode or automatic? And we can also choose the font that's in there as well. So in the old version, you didn't get that. Um, you didn't have those those options on there. So um, so those are the the new options, and you see the the, the settings there. So um, what else have we got that's that's new on there? Um, well, the finding and replace has been improved. So let's put some text in there. Now the reason why you're seeing the little prompts on there is because I've got the uh, key entry on front on the on my Surface uh, Go. That's not part of Notepad. But let's say let me just get some text on there, get on the clipboard, and let's say we wanted to do find and replace. Uh, this is the so let's replace that with. So there you go. This is so there you go. There, there's the new find and replace, and we've even got some options on here. Um, so it's a different look and feel to that find and replace. The other thing it's got as well um, is let's do some pasting. We can close that off, and I can do Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So I'm going back through multiple undo levels there. Something you couldn't do in the past. So that, that's new as well on there. When you paste in as well, it still goes in as plain text, which is good. There's still some issues with this as well as it's for a dev channel. Um, we're switching between languages, especially in Japanese IME in certain circumstances. And um, so this has not been rolled out to everybody yet. This is just Windows Insights on the dev channel. But yeah, it's good to see Notepad being updated. We've recently had Paint updated and we've also and we've recently had the new uh, media player that's replacing the old Groove Music app. So, you know, the Microsoft are working on these apps that ship in the box. Anyway, so that's a quick look at the new um, Notepad on Windows 11.